I see you have a native red bay on your property and it's got a little bit of ambrosia beetle damage but um, it if it has laurel wilt it doesn't look like it it, it doesn't look like it's actually the ambrosia beetles that do laurel wilt because it, it looks like just a regular ambrosia beetle. So that they, lets you know how big the hole is. They call it back a... on the branches, but, but oh, look, wow. look at how it's growing. So oh, it's going pretty good. I'll leave this one here. But most of these have died off. Really? Around here already. Hopefully this one will keep on growing. How much taller does it get, John? Oh, they get huge, like 50 feet. Wow. You, and you said it's related to yeah, it's avocados. It's, it's in the same genus. It's a Persia, but it's a different subgenus. So they're not graft compatible or sexually compatible. Mm -hmm. But down in, in Miami at the USDA Research Center, they did do a project where they took the cells of an avocado and they took the cells of this one and they fused the cells to make a cell that had two nuclei in it. Mm -hmm. It's called a somatic hybrid and that worked and they made a plant and then they went, I, they were going to see if it could be used as a rootstock. Mm -hmm. But um, the new ambrosia beetles happened with laurel wilt. Mm -hmm. I think they switched gears because I, ne I never heard anything uh, about it working as a rootstock. There was no further papers published. It blows my mind how bad the ambrosia beetles just messed the tree up. I wonder, look, there's little seedlings, so it's been making fruit, I think. See? Yeah, that's a good, you have a good eye to that. I bet you there's some more around there. There is a lot of little baby seedlings. Yeah, maybe there's some big ones. You know, they used to call these Carolina mahogany because when they get really big, they're not, they have a nice red wood. Hold on, what, there's another tree I want to show you that it might, I thought it was a type of magnolia. Look at this. No way. Look oh, at it. They seem to like this more like lower land. Oh, here's some more. They like the lower land, don't they? Yeah, they'll, they'll grow anywhere, but they, they'll grow down here by the water. Yeah. How about that? Because at first I thought it was a, a top of skinny leaf magnolia. It, it, almost, it, do, it does look very similar, doesn't it? It does. It's, got, it's a little fuzzy, it's got a little red hair. But at the same time, I, I just kept looking at it, smelling it, and it just didn't seem... When I, when I was young, I was hard-headed, and I did an approach graft with an avocado and a, and a red bay. I, I, I let the two tie together, and they were calloused and trying to grow together. Mm -hmm. They refused to grow together, and then I, I believed them that you can't grab At them. least you tried it yourself. I was hard-headed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the property ends here, but I like this part of the property. We were, we were curious about trying to ask them. Look, there's a big turkey back there. Maybe oh, yeah. a, I think it was a turkey. Might have been. I've seen them. And uh, pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, there's, there's a bunch. They're, just, they're all over. They're all through here. Well, I need to start marking them and saying what they are. Well, I don't think the ambrosia beetles that have laurel wood. What's up, man? Maybe if I keep them on this tree line, they'll leave them alone. There you go. And, and, and maybe one day we'll find one that can. That would be fantastic. Actually, we don't want it to go extinct.